years in a row. Taking over, taking, taking a look there. Stay with me. The cloud cover they're seeing in West Valley, and we know that those clouds have moved in with a weak disturbance. That weak disturbance coming on through, which you see on satellite radar. High pressure right now, still in control, but there's that disturbance kind of dragging those clouds into northern, central, and eastern Utah. Taking a look. At what to expect. We're going to stay above average, which we are right now. Hey, sticking around for several more days. Dry conditions want to take hold, but we've got to look at our next chance at some wet weather. We're hoping that we get a more progressive pattern down the line. The clouds made it into southern Utah. Live look at our southern Utah University Network camera in St. George, where temperatures are above average, sitting at 68 degrees. That's 10 degrees above average. Down there in St. George with that high pressure and control, we're running 5 degrees above the norm in Salt Lake. A lot of 50s in eastern Utah. And in the central portion of the state, Moab at 51. We'll see those 40s turning into 30s as we get through the rest of the evening. Air quality moderate in Cache Valley, Davis County, Salt Lake, and Utah County. Some areas have mixed out as that disturbance coming through, taking out that shallow layer of inversion. Unfortunately, moderate air comes back as we head into tomorrow along the Wasatch Front in the northwest corner of the state. There's a look at eastern Utah where we've got clean air, which is good news there. Today, that system coming through sometimes these systems aren't super strong, and as a result, we see the inversion layer worsen. Not the case today. It's kind of holding steady. It will worsen as we head into tomorrow. We are going to see mostly sunny skies as we make it through our Thursday and head towards the end of the work week. Quiet conditions, but northern valleys will see that air quality decline. This ridge of high pressure and control and really means business. All right, future cast shows how we break down the ridge. Here we go into next week. So we get through the weekend, which is really dry, but we're keeping our eye on this area of low pressure, the model want to bring in some precipitation on Tuesday. We would welcome it. It's still several days away and we know that could change, but we are hoping 30s and 40s for tomorrow, 50s in eastern Utah, 60s again down south. The heat is on in southern Utah. The winds are blowing though. Breezy conditions down there in Washington County. We'll see those 60s sticking around dry for the next six of seven days. There's a slight chance of some rain on Wednesday in southern Utah. The haze holds steady, but starts to mix out on Monday. There's that chance of wet weather Tuesday and maybe into Wednesday. Temperatures also drop. We could really see them skyrocket with the warm before the storm, but we will keep you posted. To stay on top of weather changes, all you need to do is download the ABC4 weather app. Easy to do. Snap a picture of this QR code. Takes you right to the app store where you can download for free. That way we can be there for you.